Hello, are you ready for another unbox? Because I did something that's rather unusual, but maybe healthy. I don't know if this is healthy or not, but I, I'll, I'll explain it to you and maybe you, you can think about it and think if you think it's healthy or not. But I like to do this occasionally. I like to go to a game store and just pick out a game that I've never, I don't know anything about and maybe just buy it right there without researching. A lot of times I research games, but sometimes I, I pick one up sight unseen, don't know anything about it, and I buy it. And um, I'm here visiting my sister in Seattle. We went to one of the local game shops um, in Capitol Hill and purchased this game, Disaster Looms. So I'm going to open it up right now, and we are going to unbox Disaster Looms. So right now I'm using my nails and digging at the shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. Shrink wrap. And it comes off one one hole. I could maybe reuse this to shrink wrap something else. Um, there you see the box is this shape, and I will open it now. Maybe I'll tear this stuff away and unbox Disaster Looms. Now, one thing that grabbed me. Oh, maybe I should talk about why I picked this one. But one, um, I well, I'm not going to talk about why I didn't pick other ones. I, I've never heard of it, and it's about corporations getting people off of the planet um, as disaster looms and also as an exclamation point. If you are making a game and you put an exclamation point, you're going to grab more people's attention because that exclamation point says exciting. And the guy who worked there actually knew about this game and really liked it, so that helped too. Um, nice pulpy finish on the inside of the box there. I like that better than if they color it or put like more of this stuff on it. Um, there's a little bit of a low budget quality to some of the graphics, uh, low budget kind of computer stuff, which um, is appealing to me. Um, here we have a glossy manual, nice, nice use of gray. Looks like there's a robot, kind of like Talk from Return to Oz, who talks to you and maybe maybe explains the game. That that's fun when they do that, but sometimes that can be also uh, annoying because you just want to learn how to play and you don't really want all the colorful speech that a uh, wacky robot will give you. Um, the game Crusoe's Planet, which is fast becoming one of my favorites, has a, a wacky robot as well, but I think they italicize all of his parts so you can kind of skip, um, but it makes the, the rule book longer than it needs to be because there's all this text, but it's still worth reading. Now let's take a look at what you get in this game um, called Disaster Looms. Okay, there's a first player token. A lot of times those aren't useful, but I like that they have these kind of cell phone uh, reader things here. I wonder, do you have to have a cell phone for this game? I hope not. It says, thank you backers, and then a cell phone thing. That could be bad. I hope you don't have to have a cell phone for this game. But maybe it's just a, because maybe kickstarted, and that's like, if you backed it, you can get some certain special event there. I don't have a cell phone, that's trouble for me, if that's, that's the thing. Uh, when I first saw these symbols, I didn't know what they were. I thought they were like some cult symbol. Um, not just now, but the first time I ever saw them. But you can see that it has tiles. So there's gonna be some exploration, and there's a rainbow world. So that's right here. That's, that bodes well for the game. So we have kind of one thing that's worrisome in the cell phone symbols, but maybe intriguing. If you, if you have a cell phone, if I play this with someone else, they probably have a cell phone. And then there's something exciting, and that's the rainbow world. So, Exploration C. I hope this isn't like Terra Prime. I don't like that game. And it has, I think, Exploration Tears, like that. Um, Barren World. That's a little more worrisome than the rainbow world. I, there were several barren worlds. That could be... No, I'd rather them be different worlds. Not just, well, I guess they're different colors of brown. So there's that. Um, and then there's scientific breakthroughs. Game with the current player. All players receive one free technology. Oh, so kind of arbitrary events going on. There's little symbols here. I wonder if those are resources. Probably. We're going around and and then there's these discs. I wonder if those are for something. Um, and here is this light thing there. And here's another one of those, and it's still more of these discs. Some empty space. Paradise. Looks good. And it has a D exclamation point L. That stands for Disaster Looms. Here we have Exploration A and C. And then if we look, we have some people here. I wonder if this is these are the people you're trying to get off the planet. Then markers, which are different colors. Maybe those are for the different players. Maybe each player has a color. 
that would be good. These are these are resources maybe? One R, five R rubles. There's rubles in the future, this future. Um, and we have player boards here with the wacky robot and ships, and these must be the ships, which yep, I think it's it can be confirmed there's different colors in this game. I'm seeing blue, red, yellow, and black. Those are the colors you would choose from in this game. And then these things probably go with those discs. So there's a disc thing, and then there's also stands. And I wonder what you're going to put in those stands. Um, not a ship, I don't think. I don't know. The ships seem like they go right here. You can just set them on there. That'd be nice. Oh, and that's where that goes with the dial, too. So that's fun. Now let's take a look. We can get a bit of a feel for the game just by looking at stuff here. So we have the turn phases. You can research. Ooh, there's licenses. License. Fleet. Management. Fleet. You can... Each of your ships, so you can have four different potential actions in the game. Each ship gets an action. You can build ships, and you can sell things, and you can have profits. That's great. Um, the game also comes with cards. And then the scoring is based on colonies, customers, resources, technologies, and cards also come shrink-wrapped. And this is going to be a little harder to get off, maybe, unless I can get my nail right in here. So kind of flexible. And then I can open this like this and continue to... In this street wrap, I'm not going to reuse. I kind of got to split it in. So we'll set that aside. Um, you get a feel for the cards there. They, they're cooling. Um, yeah. Technology A. Technology A. Technology B. Technology B. Technology C. Technology C. All right, we just unboxed Disaster Looms.